So in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, what exactly the scanline polygon area fill algorithm. So this is a topic on computer graphics. So in this video, I'm going to explain the concept like what is a polygon and what are the properties of the polygon algorithms, 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 algorithms. Okay, and scanline polygon area fill algorithm. So first we will see the basic concepts of the polygon. If you under, if you uh, clearly understand what do you, what do you mean by the polygon and the properties of the polygon and the types of the polygon, you will get a complete clarity on a polygon. So then we will see the different types of polygon filling algorithms. Okay. Then finally we will come to our topic that is a scanline polygon area fill algorithm. Okay. Shall we start? Polygon. A polygon means it's a closed figure. Remember, it is a closed figure, any type of shape. A closed figure made up of a line segment. So this is one line segment and it and this, like these are the line segments. A line segments on 2D plane. The word poly means many and gons means sides. If you observe this uh, polygon, if you see these are the many sides are present. So that's why we call it as a polygon. A polygon consisting of many sides. So finally, what you say, a polygon is a closed shape having many sides. So the different examples of the polygon are square, triangle, pentagonal, hexagonal, etc. So many shapes. So whatever the shapes that you are observing in your daily life. So those shapes are, if, if it is a closed one, then you call it as a polygon. So daily you are watching your screen, the screen top screen. The screen is a polygon shape, right? It is a rectangle. So polygon shape. So how to draw a polygon on the screen? So first they take a picture. You need to select a pixel screen and screen. And whatever the pixels that are present on the screen, that pixels need to be add. Okay. And it should be a closed one. Okay. It should be a closed. So see here in this. So see here in the step one, a selected uh, a pixel. And step two, a two pixels are joined. And step three, a final polygon shape can be drawn. So this is the basic steps. Now, let's see the properties of the polygon. The interior angle of n-sided regular polygon is measured by using n minus 2 into 180 degrees by 9 uh, by n. So, if you want to find the interior angle of n-sided, so the polygon consisting of, suppose a polygon consisting of n sides means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. So, this polygon consisting of a 6 sides. So, if you want to find the interior angle of these six sides in the regular polygon, you have to use a formula. Suppose this is a six side, six minus two into 180 degrees by six. So, this is the way we need to calculate the interior angles of inside a regular polygon. A regular polygon I am talking about. So, what is that regular polygon? I will explain now. And the exterior angles of inside a regular polygon is measured by 36, uh, 360 degrees by n. The sum of the interior angles of n-sided polygon can be measured by using the formula n-2 into 180 degrees and the polygon with n sides, the number of diagonals formed is n into n-3 by 2. If you want to find the diagonals in an n-sided polygon, then we can apply the formula is n into n-3 by 2. So, these are the properties of the polygon. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, coming to the types of the polygon. A different types of the polygons are regular polygon, irregular polygon, convex polygon and the concave polygon. Now let's see the pictures of what is this regular polygon. A regular polygon means a polygon is equilator or equiangular then that type of polygon we call it as a regular polygon. What is this equilateral and equiangular? Equilator means all the uh, Equiangular, all the sides of the interior angles are equal. So the interior angle should be equal and the sides of the polygon are equal. Okay, if the sides of the polygon are all equal, equilateral and the equiangular means all the uh, angles in the uh, polygon should be equal. If it is equal, then we call it as a regular polygon. So the example of the regular polygon is square. Usually the square consists in the square and the equilateral triangle equilateral triangle so these two are the regular polygons because the sides are equal and the angles are the equal then what about the irregular polygon it's just reverse of the regular polygon if the interior angles and all sides of the polygon are different then you call it as a irregular so he, see here in the rectangle 
all the sides are of different means the length and both are equal and the breadth are equal means all sides are not equal now coming to the convex polygon if line segment between two points on boundary does not go outside if it does not go outside then we call it as a convex or simply you can say all interior angles of a polygon are less than 90 degrees then we can simply say it is a convex polygon then what about the concave polygon the concave polygon means if there is at least at least one reflex interior angle only at least one reflex interior angle is there or one or more interior angles are more than 180 degrees then you call it as a concave polygon so remember that if you are considering the concave polygon it should have at least five sides sorry four sides at least four means four more than four it can be there okay but it should not be less than four then you call that type of polygon as a concave polygon now coming to types of polygon filling algorithms up to now we seen that what exactly the polygon is and what are the properties of the polygon and what are the types of the polygon now we are entering into the polygon filling algorithms so if you want to fill the color in the polygon so how, there are different types will be there let's see what are those types <coughs> the closer shape made up of line segment is called polygon that we already seen and the pixels that are present on border and the pixels that fall inside the polygon are determined for coloring the polygon the pixels that are present on border border means suppose if you take the regular polygon square so whatever the pixels that are present on the border okay this is the border and whatever the pixels that fall inside the polygon inside the polygon it has to be colored so how the coloring is going to be happened so that can be seen by use by uh, can be done by using different types of polygon filling algorithm scanline fill algorithm boundary fill algorithm and flood fill algorithm so let's just have a, a little bit definition of what exactly this filling algorithm so in this video we will see about the scanline algorithm in the coming videos i'll explain the boundary fill algorithm and the flood fill algorithms with an examples right scanline algorithm it fills the polygon using the horizontal lines remember that if you are working on the scanline algorithms the scanline algorithm name itself it is saying we are going to work with the horizontal lines so if you take any 2d plane so if you want to uh, fill the any shape of the polygon so that will be based on the scan lines okay so the scan lines so the whatever the inter intersection point is there that has to be selected in between that intersection point we need to be colored that is a technique of scan line pol algorithm it works by intersecting scan or horizontal lines see here these are the intersecting lines if you clearly observe these are the intersecting lines okay so based on the intersecting so in between the intersecting lines the polygon is going to fill the colors the polygon is going to fill the colors okay so here the horizontal lines with the edges of polygon and fill the polygon between the pair of intersection this is one technique and another te technique is a boundary fill algorithm so it fills the area start at a point inside a re region so whatever the polygon shape is present so it is going to be so whatever the shape it is there it is going to select start with the pixel that is present inside the polygon and paints the interior towards uh, interior outward towards the boundary so with the help of that pixel it is going to be scanned the neighboring points and it is started coloring the neighborings first okay so like that it is going to fill the color of the polygon that is a boundary fill algorithm then what about the flood fill algorithm the flood fill algorithm is if you want to re recolor the area which is not defined within a single color boundary instead of searching for boundary color value try to replace with a specified interior call that is a flood fill that means whatever the shape you have taken so in that shape uh, the boundary colors are in one color so the boundary color whatever the boundary color is there that is in one color and whatever the pixel colors that are present inside that is in another color 
okay so uh, that is a fill color we usually call it as a fill color the flood fill algorithm is wants to recolor the area suppose if it is not matching with the boundary color and the fill color it is trying to make it as a fill color so that means suppose if another color is there trying to change it to the fill color it is recoloring the area if white is there it is trying to recolor the area so instead of searching for the boundary color value try to replace with the specified interior color that technique you call it as a flood fill algorithm so now let's see uh, i think you get a, a little bit clarity on what exactly the scan line boundary and flood fill okay if you did even though if you didn't understand what exactly the meaning of the boundary and fill algorithm don't worry we will see in the next videos but try to concentrate on the scan line polygon fill algorithm so this scan line polygon fill algorithm is used for the solid color filling in polygon so the the steps that you have to be followed in scan line polygon fill algorithm is first step with all edges of the polygon try to find the intersection of a scan so this is the 2d plane i'm just taking the normal picture whatever usually it is we are taken in the textbooks okay so with all edges of the polygon trying to find the intersection of the scan line so what is the intersection point here this is one intersection and this is one intersection another intersection and intersection points so from left to right in an inter, in an increasing x coordinate sort the intersection points suppose this is present at 2 4 6 8 okay so in the uh, in the graph it is at the 2 and this is at the 4 x axis x coordinates and uh, 6 is x coordinate and 8 is x x coordinate so these are the intersection point at the x coordinate so we have to be sorted in an increasing order 2 4 6 8 in an increasing order then try to make the pair of intersection and fill in color within all the pixels inside the pair so try to make the pair 2 comma 4 is one pair and 6 comma 8 is another pair so this that you try to fill the colors inside so 2 to 2 comma 4 inside you have to fill the color and 6 comma 8 inside you have to fill the color so these are the steps that we have to be followed in the scan line polygon fill algorithm okay so one thing is find the intersection of the scan lines and the next is from left to right in an increasing x coordinate sort the intersections and third one is fill the color within the pixel inside the pair i means make the pair of intersection and try to fill in color with the, all the pixels inside the pair okay so there are some special cases in the uh, scan line fill algorithm suppose if both line intersecting at the vertex or on the same side let me take one picture uh, okay if both the lines intersecting at the vertex or on the same side of the scan line consider it as a two points so see here this is a line okay so let me take so this uh okay one second let me draw another polygon okay one second yes right so let's take a polygon a regular polygon whatever we had taken right okay so now if both line intersecting at the vertex are on the same side so see here this is one point and this is another point let's take this is p1 p2 p3 and p4 if both line intersecting at the vertex are on the same side so see here these are these two uh, edges are on the same sides same side uh, same side of a scan line so this is a scan line so then both line intersecting at the vertex or on the same side of the scan line then you have to consider it as a two points so consider it as a p1 comma p3 so p2 comma p3 and another special case is if lines intersecting at the vertex are of opposite sides so if you see here in this diagram this vertex is of one side and this is an another side this is a intersection point okay if line intersecting at the vertex or of opposite sides of the scan line then consider it as a one point so p4 is one point okay so if two lines are present uh, at the same side of the scan line consider it as a two points and if if lines intersecting at the vertex or at opposite sides of the scan line and consider it as a one point so these are the two special cases so see here so this is p1 and this is p2 and p3 
P4. So we have to try to, first step is, so what are the intersection points? So you have to take the X coordinate. The intersection point theory is the 4. This is 4, 8, 12 and 16. So 4, 6 is one pair and 12, 16 is another pair. So 4, 6, in between the 4, 6 we need to be fill the color. And between 12, 16 we have to fill the color. So this is the way we are going to fill the colors on the polygon. So the components of the polygon fill are edge bucket, edge table and active list. So these are the components. So what exactly the edge bucket will do? This contains the information regarding the edges. If you want to store the uh, information regarding the edges, we are storing that information on edge buckets. In edge table, this contains various edge list or all edges that makes the polygon or the diagram. And active list. This contains the current edge that are used for the polygon filling. So whatever the current edge that is going to fill the polygon, that you call it as the active list. So let us consider a simple example. In this polygon which is present on the 2D plane, we need to find the active edge list and edge table entries for the given polygon. So how you are going to find the active edge list and edge table, I will explain. So consider this is A and this point is B. And this is C, D, E, F. Okay. So A is intersecting at 0, 7. Means the point. I am writing the A point. So X axis is 0 and Y axis is 7. So that means this is X, Y. And at B, B is 2, 8.5. And C is 3.5, 3. 3.5, comma. 3 and D is 5 comma so this is around 4.5 and E uh, this is like uh, 5 comma 1.5 and F F is at around 3.5 comma 1.5 so these are the coordinates of the uh, each and every pixel now edge table entries the formula for we are, if you want to store the data on edge table entries, that is Y max. So A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, A. So we are taking the sides A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, A. So these edge table information are going to store on edge table entries. How? So what are the A, B coordinates? A, B coordinates are 0, 7. 2 comma 8.5. So 0 comma 7, 2, 2 comma 8.5. Now find the y max. So what is the maximum value here? The y max is 8.5 is the maximum. Then x at y minimum. x at y minimum. So what is the y minimum here? The y minimum is 7. So what is the x at y minimum? 0. 0 is the x at y minimum. And we need to find the 1 by m. So m is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So reverse it. x2 minus x1 by y2 minus y1. So what is x2? So x2 is 2 minus 0 and y2 is 8.5 minus 7. So then you will get 2 by 1.5. So you will get around 1.33. So this is the edge table entry information. So like that we need to be calculate for b, c, c, d, d, e, e, f, f, a. So this is the information that is stored on the edge table. So the intersections, <laughs> excuse me, the intersection to the scan line is AF, BC, CD, D. So see here, AF is intersection 1 and BC is also intersecting, CD is also intersecting and D also intersecting the scan line. Then how you are going to write the active edge table entries? The entries are Y max, exit intersection, and 1 by m value. So AF in the AF what is the maximum y max? So in the AF if you consider this AF what is the y maximum? 7 is the y maximum. So that you have written. And at a 2 the x is going to be intersected. And the uh, 1 by m. 1 by m means x2 minus x1 by y2 minus y1. So this is the way we need to be store the uh, active edge table entries. So I hope you understand what exactly the scan line fill algorithm is. Still if you are facing any uh, trouble in understanding please let me know. Thank you.